childhood memories. And uh, to be honest, I when I was like studying graphic design at university, I like built like very huge sculpture out of of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So was it? it was like a scenery of like a big ape and stuff like that. It was. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a character designer, so I do a lot yeah. of character stuff, and yeah, so this is, uh, I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think this is a common scene in uh, creativity. Um, yeah, you have to deconstruct yourself all the time, like you have to request, okay, what am I doing here, and maybe I can... Like I've, uh, the, the talk yesterday with uh, Ms. Paula Scher, for example, she said like, okay, these are my, in my 90s I did this, in, my, uh, in the 80s I did this, and it's a completely different, different style somehow. If you want to, if you want to, um, if you, if you want to, to be like, still in it and, and, and still, still like have the same fire for your work, you have to change every now and then, in my opinion, and that's, yeah, that's what I would like call deconstruction sometimes. Like for example, like my style switches like every th three years, not completely, but yeah, sometimes it's more minimal, sometimes it's get, it gets a bit more wild. And nowadays I'm doing like a lot of like pixelated stuff, for example. And yeah, that's just, just uh, it just is keeping me moving somehow. Yeah. It, it depends, it depends if it's like a young student, whatever, like, I, I mean, you have to start at some point. So when I started with graffiti, I went to the Hall of Fames and like looked at the masterpieces of like the old guys and definitely got inspired by it. And nowadays with the internet and stuff like that, Instagram, whatever, it's pretty easy to, to yeah, to pick a style for, for the young, for the, for the young uh, creators. But that's not... Yeah, I don't have a super big problem with it. On the other hand, it's like getting more and more with my stuff, like for example with this cat logo I'm doing. Uh, this gets ripped off a lot of times and I have a good lawyer, lawyer now. And really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So I have to, yeah. I have to at some point, like if it's a big company and they're doing like, a, I don't know, they're bringing out shirts, whatever, with your stuff, uh, I mean, it's not obviously not correct, so. Yeah, it depends. This year there was one claim and it worked pretty well for me. <laughs> um, if it's like, for example, I have had some trouble with like punk bands from Australia and it's like, for example, and yeah, what should you do? Like it's a, like a small band, whatever. They're doing like a little bit of merch and the only thing you can do is like talk to them and uh, yeah, make it maybe public that they are using your image, but makes no makes no sense to sue them because there's no money involved anyway, so. <laughs> to be honest, I'm living this 100%. And I'm, for example, if I'm like, uh, have free spare time, whatever, and vacation, I'm sitting there with my sketchbook and drawing. So there's nothing else. Yeah, sounds stupid, but there's nothing else in my life than creating. Like, for example, if I have like tons of stuff to do at the computer on the weekends, I go out with my friends, paint a wall. So that's, yeah. Yeah, there was at that point, 2011, there was not really, there was not really that much. Uh, it was not um, that hyped that you like go out and paint characters with a spray, with a spray paint. It was always like, people doing the graffiti styles and the characters always have been like only like a little bit of the background. You have, if you were a character painter, you've been like the background bitch at some point. And yeah, we, were, we got sick of it. And yeah, then I met these people that were doing the same. And yeah, we, we wanted to do like walls only with these characters and without like traditional graffiti at all. Um, yeah, and it was like something new somehow. And even that this much people like um, worked so good together that it like everything melted together and looked like a like a very very nice um, composition. <clears throat> it's it's on one point it's super hard to work with so many people, and on the other side it was like 
super easy to work with these guys. And so we decided, okay, we have to, we have to do it again. And then uh, we started here in a, at a festival in Vienna. Uh, back in the day, I uh, met for the first time. A few of them I knew before, but uh, yeah, we all met here. And then I'm from, from the west of Germany, like uh, Nordrhein-Westfalen, uh, Düsseldorf. I uh, lived there for a while. And then I had like the opportunity to invite all of them to, to Düsseldorf, to Oberhausen to be exact. And yeah, so we had like another festival where we painted together and it was raining all the time. And we just sat at like, yeah, as we are sitting here and talked and talked and talked and then we decided, okay, let's, let's get bigger. <laughs> There's no planning at all. It's like super free service. Sometimes, de depending a little bit, if we know before, okay, you're flying now to whatever, like Hong Kong or LA or I don't know which city. And if it's if we know before we go, like okay, this is the wall and these are the artists that are involved, then we discuss a little bit, of course. But most of the time, it's just meeting, having a drink, um, sketching in front of the wall, talking, 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 and then just go with the flow. That's, yeah. That's the funny part of it. That's yeah. yeah that's the most intense part as well. Maybe, maybe I don't know what the others would say, but maybe that's some kind of yeah. I'm 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 keeping it together a little bit. Like, like uh, for example, when we. Back in the day when Facebook was bigger and we started the Facebook page, for example, I, I, I took care of like, okay, boys, you have to upload now because like you did a great ball. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or for example, like I, I think maybe I'm the only one in the crew that collaborated with everyone, like yeah. uh, on a wall itself, like, like mm. yeah, and yeah. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm a bit um, I'm a good collaborator. For me, it was like super interesting to get to know these people a bit better. For example, and, uh, if you, if you, for example, of course we know each other for quite some time, but we are living in different cities, and we don't see each other that much. And uh, if you have like a two weeks trip to Hong Kong, for example, with one guy, then you get to know him. And yeah, so that was very interesting for me. And for example, last year this had nothing to do with the weird crew, but. Uh, last year I painted a super huge wall in Hamburg with uh, this Mexican uh, superstar called Smise. It's a very, very talented uh, artist. And I didn't even like know him before, like nothing, we didn't even like talk. And um, it was a, like a 50 by 10 meters wall, it was super massive. And yeah, when you start such a project and you don't know who's this guy I'm working with, you don't know where this is going. And it was like, as you said, it was raining, like everything that could go wrong went wrong, but um, we were like on the same level somehow. We directly um, noticed, okay, this guy is cool. And yeah, so it worked out pretty cool. Like the wall is amazing now. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's so funny to see that someone from the other side of the world is coming and has almost the same mindset as you. And yeah, that's that's the crazy thing about this creative scene, I think, that you have so many like-minded people in this world that you can sometimes easily work with. It, sometimes it goes wrong, but uh, this was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, I, I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe right, right place, right time, I don't know. It was, it's, for example, I don't even have a website. I, I don't need a website. Like, and um, I used Behance a lot back in the day. And somehow, while I was still studying, like companies like Nike approached me. Like, uh, I was like in my twenties, like beginning of my twenties. They just approached you. Yeah, they approached me directly. No, no other agency involved. And uh, yeah, that was pretty amazing. It was like. I mean, you still study, you don't have any money, nothing, and just a little bit of reputation, and then these big companies come to you. And they've been very, very friendly and very um, open to, to my stuff back in the day. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how it started somehow. It was like, it started with like, I think I had an exhibition in Berlin, and the, then there was like the, I think it's the creative director of K2 Snowboards, 
like uh, was running around in Berlin Mitte and saw my exhibition. And then he got in contact with me. So it was like, yeah, coincidence. Yeah. I don't know. And then it went from there, like K2, Nike, and then Amnesty International and all these yeah, other big companies. Oh, so just like one, one art director, uh, Munehito, my friend. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's like a fan for years, I heard, okay. and yeah, and then he had like, there was like a, uh, a project popping up about Golden State Warriors, I think, was the first one, mm -hmm. and yeah, amazing, I mean, I was playing basketball myself for like 15 years or something, and then like, uh, something like this is happening, it's amazing, and yeah, and then, then we went from there, like, the, the creative director was pretty fine with, with the outcome and then like now we're doing like I think maybe three or four sessions a year for, for the magazine yeah. mm. it's a mixture of, of as you said like um, typography definitely my graphic design heritage um, then it's a lot of comic um, Pops, I'd call it pop surrealism. It's like a mixture of pop cultural stuff melting together with this graffiti yeah, good, attitude. And just keep doing. I mean, stay true to yourself. Like, just do whatever you want. Get influenced, but not too much. Like, do your thing, even if it's not, if it's not working for a while. If 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 you are with your heart in it and if yeah if you like the people will feel it and then they they will like come commissions or whatever and you will get better anyway if you like if you're with your completely heart in it and you love what you do then you just go for it and after a while yeah success yeah. comes definitely and the money comes as well like if people see that you love what you do if there's love involved i think people always will notice